Stepping off the bus, I looked around, taking a deep breath. I missed my hometown every day I had been gone. It wasn't big, not like the city I had ran to. That city had been huge, big enough for me to get lost in, which was what I had wanted. If I could get lost in it, so could anyone who was looking for me. My hometown was far better than any other city could be. There was enough around that you didn't get bored, but it wasn't so big that you disappeared into the background. Practically everyone knew each other, and that small town comfort was what I had missed all these years. That and Ray. I would always miss Ray. Leaving this town behind hadn't been a choice I wanted to make. When my life was endangered, I thought there would be no escape for me. Ray had been my boyfriend, and I had wanted to go to him, but I knew I couldn't. If I did, Ray would have been targeted just like I was. I couldn't let that happen. I couldn't risk his safety. He meant everything to me, and I refused to let any harm come to him. So I did nothing at first, letting the danger accumulate. I was young, a teenager, and barely able to survive on my own. I had no money, no plan. I felt as if I was truly stuck where I was, with no escape. My future had seemed so grim, so dark. I thought I had no future. Then, Shane came out of nowhere. He saw the danger coming for me. He had wanted to go to Ray, but I wouldn't let him. It was bad enough that Shane had discovered what was happening. That would put him at risk, and I didn't want anyone else getting hurt. When I adamantly refused, Shane did something I hadn't expected at all. He stole money out of his parents' savings. There was a few thousand dollars, and he gave it all to me. I told him no. Once his parents found out, he would get in trouble. But he insisted. He said he didn't care. He gave me the money with one stipulation. If I still loved Ray, I had to come back when it was safe. I wasn't sure it was safe now, but I hadn't been able to keep myself away any longer. My heart was empty without Ray and I needed to see him. I wasn't naive enough to think he hadn't moved on. It had been years since I left. I gave him no explanation, no assurances that I would be back. I swore Shane to secrecy and jumped on the first bus out of town. I knew Ray would never be mine again, but I still needed to go to him. I needed to explain, to at least try to help him to understand. I felt so guilty for leaving him behind that I couldn't move on. It weighed my heart down, reminding me daily that it was there. My heart would always belong to Ray. I hoped that if I could at least explain and apologize, it would be a little lighter. Walking through the streets, I found the cheapest hotel I could. I didn't have much money left. I only planned to stay for a few weeks before I moved on. The city had become mundane to me, and I was ready for something new. I would make my peace with Ray, then start over somewhere else. Checking into my room went smoothly. The clerk at the front desk didn't recognize me, though I remembered her. We had gone to high school together. Dropping my single bag on the bed, I pulled out my stuffy, setting it gently on the bed. I didn't go anywhere without my stuffy. Ray had given it to me on our first date, and not once had I left it behind. Looking back, I fully believed it was the start into my venture of age play. The way Ray had made me feel, like I had been cherished, loved, and protected, it made me feel small in the best way possible. Now, as an adult, I understood what that was. Little space had become a custom for me, something I used as a way to forget the danger I had been in and everything I left behind. When I was a little, I could pretend nothing had happened all those years ago. I could pretend everything was perfect. Bouncing on the bed, I clutched my stuffed bear to my chest. My legs kicked up, aimed towards the ceiling in a playful manner. I was excited to see Ray. I was back where I belonged, and within the next few days... I would finally be able to settle everything that had been broken. I was happy.